Welcome back to the adventures of just an absolutely filthy, disgusting slug creature. Count Nakara the Hut. N the Hut, sorry. Please don't sue me, Disney, for the love of God. Of the slowed people. The slowed exiles who sailed all the way around the globe and landed on Monkey Islands. So, there have been some really great suggestions, I should say, before we really get into things here, for actual things to add to the slowed people. There are a couple of things, and, and people suggested a lot of things that I've already implemented in my sort of offline version that aren't on the Steam version yet, because I haven't tested them, so I don't know if they're, they're working indecently. Um, but we will hopefully see them as we come onto the campaign here. One of those things is, everyone's been suggesting, well, the slowed are good at necromancy, why not make them better at necromancy? So, one thing I've got in, in this offline version, but I will update the Steam Workshop mod, actually, when I finish this episode, so you guys can play it as well. Um, when we summon un dead now we can summon up to two or I, I think it's something like that i don't remember how i made it in hindsight but we can summon uh armies and then we can actually summon some more to so see that one we actually technically don't have the not in currently in control of any bound summons even though we are so i've added a little extra little bit of code to make it so that if you are a slowed you can what is that there's a little flag there that's cool i don't know why it's there but that's cool um if you are a slowed you can summon multiple amounts of undead, but it's just undead. It's, you can also summon Daedra as well if you're a master mage. I thought that when, you know, they have no precedent for really summoning Daedra besides making deals with them. So for undead, because the slowed have centuries and centuries of necromancy skill, they can summon as many goddamn undead as they want. When we reform the religion, there are even more bonuses associated with that. We can summon, like, stronger undead or better undead courtiers and stuff. But that's something for the future, and like I said... Reforming the religion we want to do as early as possible to unlock as many slowed mechanics. Like turning our babies into sl uh, into uh, slowed soap. I think that'd be pretty funny. So, we can summon more undead. And honestly, we might as well just disband these guys again. Because still the same rule applies. It's better to probably just summon up the uh, the bigger bands. Oh, I remember what I did. So, I was talking with some people in Discord about it. And, and the suggestion was uh, make it cheaper for slowed in terms of magicka. I thought we'd keep the same magic value, but just let them summon as many as they want. So they're still going to be... If you want to build up a massive army, it's still going to take you years and years and years and years, right? But you can, if you want to do that, you can sit around for years building up a slowed army. But again, it's not really much point, you know? It kind of defeats the point if you just want to sit on this gigantic troop horde. Uh, you wouldn't really have much else to do in the meantime, huh? So, oh, that debate in the mint was so good. The other thing I want to talk about is obviously we surrendered our eternal shouting match with the Monkey Lord of Tang Ong. Just because uh, we couldn't win it. Neither of us have any boats. So that's something we definitely need to focus on at this episode. It only cost us minus 18 gold. I don't know if you saw that. It cost us minus 28. I think we already had 10 gold uh, to surrender that. So I was pretty happy to do it just so that we weren't constantly at war. So we could actually do some other events as well. So we're still part of the, what is it? The Scenerist Guild. The Transcendent Architects. Oh god, not more bloody architects. We're part of another Architects Guild. Which will... Allow us to study that specialization. Hopefully, as we go on here, we'll build up our skills as a battle mage. This person wants 7.5 gold to build a statue. You're a slowed. I don't know if I trust you. Charitable slowed? That doesn't seem right. Fine. So be it. Surprise me. Let's see what we've got. This normally just gives prestige. So, fingers crossed it's not something garbage. And, of course, how could I forget Grand Mayor Nigel II? I will ask him if he wants to spend some time with us. There we go. Nigel was happy to oblige me. Now that we have some time to speak with him, I'm confident I can convince him how alike we are. Nothing says more alike than a giant, filthy, dis just disgusting, filthy slug creature and Nigel the Monkey. Thank you, Nigel the Monkey. We have the proud trait. I'm sure you've enjoyed being in my presence for so long. Why is that? Because he is, uh, I don't know, like, humble? It just seems like you pissed someone off saying that. Or ambitious. Planning your visit filled me with purpose. Wow, that is something to say, huh? How could he not be impressed with that? This whole thing is... We, we could be swearing literally anyone else. I went for this monkey because his name was Nigel. And that's it. Welcome to the channel, by the way. So everything right now hinges on us being able to get more boats before we can expand our own domain and go to war, before we can go raiding and gather ourselves a load of powerful artifacts and obviously help out Mafala by throwing her a bunch of artifacts or whatever by making her offerings. We need more boats. We need to be able to go out raiding. It's essentially the, the big uh, crux of things. So I'm thinking, let's use some magic here and cast Transmute on ourselves. That seems a very slow thing to do. Thank you. I will cast a moderate version of the spell, and that's going to increase our monthly balance. We can also go with the other one, which is like Bountiful Prosperity or something like that, uh, which increases global taxes. Seeing as our monthly balance is already garbage, I thought this one would be better. And that actually gives two gold per month. Well, that's actually very significant then for a count level character. Playing as like a, like an Atmora Mage or something could be pretty good. Oh, wow. Monument promised by Rakil is finished. Upon unveiling, a statue of yourself is revealed, and you notice the crowd smiling and giving a round of applause. I have no words. Wow, that's very, very cool. That, again, seems... Kind of like the perfect slow thing, them having a gigantic statue themselves, having lived here for all of five minutes. I sent Stuart Dracula to oversee the construction of the county, and the building fell apart almost instantly. Okay. So it turns out the guy that just built us that giant statue is actually garbage at his job. He's not good, is he? Um, 
We'll replace Rakil with Rakil. Slightly, slightly more improved Rakil. I can't say I trust Rakil. No, I'll be honest with you. He doesn't seem like the most... Not this guy, though. Previous guy. Right, go and collect some taxes in. Let's see if we can get that tithe, because that would help out massively. What could I possibly do to endear Grand Mayor Nigel II to me? I'm not particularly experienced in making people like me, but it can't be that hard. Isn't there a bard mocking him in Thayala? There is. How dare they? Despite all the care that I put into preparing his gift, Grand Mayor Nigel claimed he would, love, he would have preferred it if I had limited myself to wishing him a good health letter. So, if you succeed with that event, you chop off the bard's head and send it to him in a box. I can only assume that's what we did, right? And he was pretty pissed off by it. And there we go. Book is composed. The Confessions of Count Kanakra. Kanakra de Hut. Let's take a look. Don't you remember what this one does? It's like a learning bonus or something, right? Yeah, learning plus two, fertility minus 20% for a slowed seems perfect, seeing as, you know, like I said, adult slowed actually can't breed at all. Does that mean that when they're in this stage, they can breed? No. Thank God I added that spawning pit then. I, th I, I was going to say, they wouldn't have added any slowed specific mechanics because they are fucking slowed at the end of the day. Um, okay, sure, that sounds pretty cool. So, plus two learning, that might be enough now to give us... Oh, we're still at 48, huh? It might take a while to update or something like that. But, uh... What was that? We just gained a trait. I'm not sure what it was, though. Oh, an artifact. Right, yeah, because we got a book. It's a shame we haven't quite got enough Magicka yet, because I think we need 50 Magicka to be able to summon the big army of the undead. Again, not that we've got any boats or the matters. Oh, what is this? The alchemy kit arrived in a small box containing instructions with how to mix different substances without causing things to explode or start burning. Might be a good idea to read the book before fiddling with the alchemical ingredients. Uh, yeah, that seems like a great idea. Oh, it's because we're a mystic. I see. I should be careful. I still remember what happened to my uncle. Read up on alchemy first. Awesome. Oh god, this seems horrible. The liquid drips through the labyrinth of glass-blown bottles in various forms and sizes. As it reached the end of the funnel and a drop of liquid quivered on the edge before it slowly fell towards the waiting bowl. What will Natantri say when she sees my face? 50% chance of exploding experiment or 50% chance of lead and gold. Cake and wine? I'm very annoyed. <laughs> Not that it matters anyway. Oh no, the slowed is ugly, god forbid. As the liquid slowly but steadily dripped into the bowl, I waited eagerly for the substance to cool down. When finally every last drop was in the bowl, darkness enveloped the castle and I had to light a candle properly to examine the liquid, which exploded. Gold, I've created gold? What do you mean? Gold, I've created gold. Game wounded and ugly. Yeah, but do we actually get the gold though? I think we did? Well, I mean, I was going to say we won it by three gold, but that also might be something known as monthly balance. Let's debase the mints with less precious minerals. This is working out incredibly well. So what is it we needed for a uh, boat? Right, let me just double check here. So low palisade does not give boat. Um, I should really add airships, shouldn't I? That, that's something that we've still got on the back burner to do as well. So other mechanics that have been added that people keep asking me to add. The Thracian Plague, that's in. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but I've got a mechanic based around that. Very similar to the Tainted Touch. Very similar to the in-game uh, being able to scorch a province. I'll leave it up to you guys to try and piece together what that actually does. But the Thracian Plague is already in it, seeing as that's sort of what the Slowed are known for, right? Um, we've got some necromancy stuff going on, like I said, a separate magicka style system. Tracks the amount of corpses you've got from executions. I uh, might even add like a right-click sacrifice province button to place as well, sort of like pillaging if you're a nomad or tribal. That'd be kind of cool, being able to get just a load of corpses to use in necromantic experiments. There's also a way to buff up your uh, undead troops as well that I've added, but we'll talk about that later on. This isn't in the Steam release yet, because like I said, we haven't had a chance to test it yet, because we're not at that stage in the game. When I'm, when I'm certain it works, then I will uh, release that. What do you want? Oh! Oh, that's really bad. Dear Initiate Kanakra, it has come to my attention you practice necromancy, which is a blatant violation of the Transcendent Architect's Charter, and therefore unacceptable. If you give up the Black Arts immediately, you will be retained within the trans Transcendent Architect's as an Initiate in good standing. Otherwise, I have no choice but to expel you. So, there is a mechanic, actually, in all of the Mages Guild, so that you can set up necromancy as a legitimate study of magic. Unfortunately, this time around, these guys, the monkey people, aren't a big fan of those, apparently. It's a real shame. If we go up to, like, Archmage or something, we'd be able to do it. There could be a method to, like, you know, lose the trait Necromancer and then go up until we're most transcendent and then maybe try and force it through. Oh, it's a shame because it's also got Temple Build cost, Temple Build time. I guess we say this is an outrage I quit and just join a different society, huh? So can we join the Navigators of Akavir? Uh, yes, we can, by the looks of it. Okay, fantastic. What do those guys do? City build cost modifier a month prestige. Oh shit, we actually want to build that. And we need boats and the highest rank is Admiral. That seems perfect. Okay, we've also got the Union of Iron Hilts, which I don't believe we can join because we're not Marshal. Yeah, no, we are garbage. You have to have a specialization. Okay, or we can join the Ethereal Wardens. We need a diplomacy of 10. Wouldn't be too difficult to get that. What do those guys do for us? Pure brilliance gives general prestige. Okay, the Imperial Wardens maintain that the truest beauty of one thing can only exist in one instance, but never to be repeated. Ah, uh, you know, I was thinking the same thing, just not about Kanakra Dahat. 
That name is that name is so good. That's actually one of the better names to ever come up with. Namira's power waning doesn't matter anyway, because obviously we can't do much with Namira right now until we've uh, until we've developed. Can we build a what was this city then? Five nine four. Maybe we should just go for that instead, instead of trying to build up the boats. Well, let's hope we don't have anything that requires prestige, because I knew this was going to happen. A merchant's managed to find out the coins you minted are counterfeit. Yeah, that's that's absolutely not a surprise at all. Thank you very much. Mahaholo, the ill sorry, Maraholo, the ill ruler, has up the title of yeah, those words. From uh, from these words as well. It's almost as bad as Dikakra. What are we called again? Kanakra. Kanakra de Ha. I need to sort of in, in blaze that into my mind or something. So I'm not going to remember otherwise. All right. So let's go ahead and join these navigators of Akavir. Look alive, Count Kanakra. You're a navigator of Akavir now. We sail wherever the money takes us, which is nowhere because we have no boats, nor do we have really any money to build boats either. When the coin rolls in, you'll be glad it did. This seems a bit more appropriate for a load. They love gold and money and selfish, greedy means. Are we a pirate? Are we now a pirate, disgusting, just filthy, horrible frog creature? Study a specialization. So let's immediately start work on that again. I think we'll have to pick a different one because obviously we can't really pick a magical one being that we're not part of a magical guild anymore. Open the guild hall. Um, study specialization. So we can go for acrobat, bard, healer. Um, so what do I want to go for then? Oh my god, our diplomacy is one. How? Slow, necromancer, ugly, deceitful, unfierce, greedy. I've never seen... This is so good. This has actually worked out incredibly well. Obviously, this isn't uh, generally how the slowed would be played. They're no different to any other character. I'd like to add to the mod, slowed being more likely. Maybe just like a yearly pulse or something like that to give you just a garbage slow trait or a chance at a garbage trait that a slowed might have. Arbitrary is exactly what the slowed have. We need to add like slowed opinion plus five. Oh my god, I'm going to turn this into a full-blown mod. This was originally just a joke, but you know what? I'm in. Learn the ways of the, the Nightblade. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky slowed. Scout, monk, sorcerer seems pretty appropriate. Oh, we can study just sorcerer, though. Um, I think we'll go with that, then, because obviously magic is going to be basically the driving force of this campaign, plus they're a magical race, so it seems more appropriate that we go for that. That's good. Okay. Hopefully we can get something in... Oh, I'm busy cleaning old rubbish out of a warehouse in the Navigator of Akavir, recently purchased, and it's in the process of renovating. Suddenly, I notice a small, glimmering object hidden amongst a pile of rags. What is this? What do we get? A copper ring. Oh, was that our our ambition gave us that? I see. Right, there we go. Sex appeal plus one. It's not going to help. I'm going to be honest. No amount of uh, plus 100 sex appeal. That wouldn't make a goddamn bit of difference, my friend. You're only scratching the surface. So we can become a paragon of virtue, which will give Thracian rituals 1% moral authority for 20 years. Just grabbing the holy sites would be enough to reform the faith, and they're not particularly difficult, he says. I mean, granted, one's under an empire and three are under a kingdom and the other's under the, the Sechi courts. The Sayesi courts, sorry. Uh, so that's not going to be kind of fun. Hmm. You know what? We'll worry about that later on. Obviously, the plus 1% is not going to make a damn bit of difference. The easiest way to do that would be just conquest and things. Let's make a friend. Nope, let's not grim an air either. Let's build a war chest. That seems the most appropriate. That also doesn't sound too difficult because we only need like 300 now, don't we? Yeah, 300 if we're all in a county. That gives plus 10% national taxes. It's not a huge amount, but it, it's sort of the most appropriate ambition thing as we're almost right there, huh? Oh, right, okay. My son, Short, has been, through the teachings of Nagasta, studying the principles of the Order of the Black Worm. So he, my son now worships Manny Marco. They're very closely related religions anyway. They're both obviously heavily necromancer-based. So this is one This is one of the base game religions. Followers of the philosophy laid by Manny Marco, the original king of worms. This cult centers around profanation of burial sites and conjuration rituals to contact powerful spiritual entities. A religious head can be created by special decision. I actually couldn't find how you do that. I think it's an event. I think it's literally just Manny Marco turns up and becomes the head of the Order of the Black Worm um, during some previous bookmarks. So uh, that's that's something worth mentioning. Well, we're not going to touch that. Obviously, we'll flip back to our own religion that we've added later on. Lady, my guild assignments have caused me to spend a lot of time working with Princess Patanui of Beido. We may not grant everything, but we always seem to enjoy talking with one another. We're good friends with you, Princess Tiger Lady. Thank you. Oh, whoa. Potoon. What are they then? Uh, feel a fine humoid. Feeliform humanoid from the sunbaked desert of Eastern Akavir, so they can have intrigue and learning. This seemed like it could be a fun playthrough, huh? Like, all the Akavir race just seem like they've, they've been built really, really well. Luxury clothes are trendy at the moment. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, there are better ways of spending taxes. I mean, we, we, we're we not vain. We wouldn't be vain, and we certainly wouldn't buy everyone else bloody clothes. Um, yeah, okay. Sure, we'll roll with that. We'll, we'll, at least we didn't get fashionable, because it obviously wouldn't make any goddamn sense at all. I'm all about being true to law with this campaign. No friendship is what. Yeah, friendship is not worth the money. Get out of here, Nigel. You know what, Nigel? Go fuck yourself. You know what? Fuck yourself, Nigel. We're now enemies. Trying to take my goddamn money. 
And suddenly I found a load of buttons that sound incredible. Slavery, allowed, resettlement, purges, mutilation, fully legal. Well, that's a great start. Um, I think we are going to allow slavery because that will actually buff us up quite a significant amount. Obviously, that gives you a lot of provincial bonuses. Take the, take the tiger people as prisoner or take the, the command will probably be the best ones, right? I don't know if do certain races have different bonuses to slavery. That's touching on some, uh, that's touching dangerously under monetization territory. Huh? So we'll, uh, not worry about that too much. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's discuss what would make the best slaves. Uh, all right, so I'm thinking we go for... Do you want to visit the marketplace? I'm kind of thinking let's start visiting the library because we're so close to the amount of learning we need. Oh, hang on. we got 52 now. Maybe it is yearly updates. Well, first things first, then let's pass the slavery. So what were we allowed on that one? Uh, we've got four supporters, one against. Jabber is against it, but Nagastra is in favor. Yeah, we're going to go for that one. Thank you. Get out of here. And of course, it's slow. That seems the most appropriate thing. Right, so now when we can raid, my god, are we going to get a lot of bonuses. I want to build this city. We're not actually too far away. I mean, a couple of more debasing. We've just got to basically wait and, and cross our fingers a little bit with this one. Across our just disgusting slowed appendages. Supposedly slowed can't use weapons and tools because they just have like fat finger problems, right? I think I talked about that last time. Hopefully the society will give us a little bit of gold as well. So what is it we get up here? Yeah, city build cost minus 30%. It's quite significant. Those, those are percentages. That's quite a huge amount, huh? So that's going to take it down from, what is 594 minus 30% of that. Oh, God, don't make me do maths off the top of my head. That's like minus 180 gold. That's pretty significant. That's a decent amount. What? We didn't even do anything. I'm a little bit offended. Why is he so mad? Why are we rivals? Grandma Nigel thoroughly hates me now and likely wishes me dead. I didn't even do anything. Like There were no events that fired. Oh, my God, look at the little monkey children. That's so... That's, that's, that's a nice little feature, huh? Holy shit. Um... My work with him is done. That is that is good. Let's let's try and bring him up. And he's obviously going to be our prime raiding target. I mean, a Merchant Republic. That's, I mean, where is he? He's like this one, right? He's got to be. Oh, there's another Merchant Republic. Oh, so he's actually not doing too well for himself. Either way, we're just going to raid whatever is good. And I assume it's just going to be sort of the... Oh, man, all the economy is garbage. Besides the Imperial Isle. Oh, they've actually added trade routes into, uh, into Tamriel. That's very cool. I might have to add some Akaviri trade routes in that case. So actually, the only one worth raiding is obviously the Sayesi Courts there. Um, even they don't really have a huge amount. It's going to be all down to artifacts, I think, just to keep us afloat. No way. We have that same event again. I just thought, oh, it's going to be another crappy copper ring. We got an ebony ring this time around. Oh, man. So this society can just give us random stuff, huh? Oh, uh, it's a shame that... Oh, I was going to say it's a shame that we could equip two ones, but I guess not until we can replace it. If we get another one, we'll just obviously chuck it at uh, chuck it in the mirror there and ch start building up some favor with her. Um, see, they're on Prosper. I mean, what choice do we have, really? After this one, I guess we'll just have to take the... um. They become a king ambition because there's really nothing else for us at this stage. So how much are we making with you? We've got 241 ardor. We are deceitful and that's really it. We can make an offering, which is 30 gold. We can offer an artifact and how much would the copper ring be worth? 100 ardor. And then for the ring of Nimera, what does that give us? I've actually never played as a dragonborn and that's also something I wanted to talk about. There was a comment yesterday that said uh, slowed have the highest chance or at least a higher chance than some of the other races on Akavir to be uh, named as the dragonborn, specifically like the Sayesi. The slowed are apparently higher than that. I'll have to check the fire myself to, to double check that. Wouldn't that be awesome if we became a slow Dragonborn? Especially because I've never once played a Dragonborn in in the Elder Kings. Like we played as obviously the Dwemer, which can't become Dragonborn. We played as uh we played as the aliens before that. Our characters as the aliens. So the aliens have some of the lowest chance chance to be Dragonborn as well. But the character we ended the series on, our main character's son, was a Dragonborn. It's a real shame that we couldn't, uh, you know, start playing as him. So I've never tested this out. That'd be a very fun mechanic, because then we could literally swap between every single Daedra and get all of the artifacts equipped at once. That'd be awesome. Good. Good. That is exactly what we needed. This time around, instead of lecturing, I tried to have a conversation with Chor and listen listened patiently to what he had to say. We discussed Namira at length, and in the end, it seemed like Chor understood and agreed with my point of view. Namira's truth shall always prevail. So... I mean, it's better than being Order of the Black Worm, right? He is still Order of the Black Worm, but secretly Cult of Nimera. That way, he can flip over to our religion, and he's still got that secret one going too. So that lets us skip, um, basically, you know, trying to hire another Daedra. Because I'm not sure how much we can get done with Kanakra. I'm not sure what the life expectancy of a slowed is, to be honest with you. Young Chor is showing much petty cruelty towards others. Nice, he should show more amb- Oh, no, wait, we want both, but, I mean, we'll try and get him ambitious. Hey, that's good, because it means we don't have to turn him into our rival. And obviously, ambitious is a fantastic trait as well. Ah, there we go. More mints to be debased. How long till I build my city, which I'm going to fill to the broom with boats? 594 gold. If we could try and make our way up through this society, that would be fantastic. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to those higher levels, I wouldn't say. It's 3,000 per rank. Right now, we've got 270. We've been part of it for, for literally years. Um, 
It's because we're just so garbage. It requires stewardship, and we've got four point plus four point five. What is our stewardship? Nine. We've got zero diplomacy. My god. Out of patience, minus two, because we tried to induct him into the cult of Namira. That, that's understandable, really. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Namira's gazing out, which, which means basically we've unlocked the, the decisions again. They've, they've sort of come back, and now we can actually talk to them. I'm Thugs to tell me while I was investigating the rumors of a plot on Tang Ong. We should really be doing something with our spy master that isn't just sitting around. Um, oh my god, we've got to go with 24 Marshall. Welcome aboard. Holy shit. Uh, Nagasta, let's send you to go and study tech. I don't really know what the best place is. What do we want right now? Like, construction, potentially? Oh, actually, everywhere is better than us. We're garbage. Okay, we've got military organization, which also wouldn't be such a bad idea. Um, everywhere is going to be basically just level one, though, aren't they? Yeah, no, they're all going to be roughly the same. I think I'm going to send into the, to the say, SE court, seeing as those are the most advanced. They've got the most gold. They're obviously the most powerful. Let's just send him over there, see if he can't grab a little bit of tech. Thank you, Nagasta. What should we do with our other guys, then? So we've got Rakil, obviously overseeing construction after we built the city, should be obvious. It's also kind of good to just set them on. Oversee construction, because as you can see there, it's got a 2.8 chance yearly for a lot of multiple things to happen. Obviously, the compounded chance, so adding all of those together, it's going to be quite a significant chance of at least something happening once per year. So it might be better. Riemann Tombs discovered. Not sure about that one, Chief. I don't know whether provinces are predetermined to have deposits, and then it's like a 2.5% chance or 2.9% chance to uncover them. I have no idea, but we'll have to keep close on that. Um, my Marshal Corbin, found a man of great military talents called Duredin. Excellent. Welcome aboard. Uh, sure, we'll just stick with collect taxes then for now, because, I mean, the tithe is only bringing eight gold at a time, but it's better than nothing. The tax modifier, well, it, it'll add up very slightly, right? Let's get you... Military secrets are real. Military theory, 20%. It's not bad. Organizing the army is absolutely pointless right now, when we don't really have much going for us, huh? Um, let's just go and research military tech. At least we'll get something long-term out of that in the form of tech points. Chancellor Jauba. Ja uh, definitely not a reference to anything at all, I'm sure. Navigate to the back of every need to someone who can negotiate a purchase with some independent sellers. Say no more. We, we, we know the art of deal right here. We got the face for it. Carefully negotiate the purchase arrangement and realize I've netted the Navigate to the back of A nice little profit. Oh, thank you very much. Do we, can we get 8% chance of 30 gold? Oh, that, that's ours. Right, good. That doesn't go to the guild. Oh my god, we actually got like 20 gold out of that too. Was that 15, 20? I can't remember what we were on before, but it was a decent amount. That city is getting closer and closer, my guy. The first ever slowed city of Akavir. This could be cool. Oh, my prestige. Oof, owie. I wonder if you need to enter prestige to fire that event or whether you can just go into negative. Honestly, I can't say I've ever considered that before. Well, I guess there's always a chance of, if that is true, we've got another chance of the minced being debased. Ah, oh, hedge knights. Welcome them reluctantly. Send them on their way. Get the hell out of here. All right. I've had to take a look at the buildings in Thaler and figure out how to reinforce them and make them harder to conquer if the county would be sieged. The buildings did not inspire me in any way. I have a friend who is excelling at these kind of things. What am I waiting for? A siege just asked. Let's speak to Princess uh, Patanuti. Please, tell me. What about my siege buildings? Hey, you got any gold as well? Oh, we actually gained one stewardship. Oh, shit. Wow. That's a great event. There's nothing we can do about the buildings except turn them down and use the salvageable materials. Oh, so it's this event. Right. I've actually never been on the other side of this. Is when somebody comes up to you and you can reply, I know what he could do, and then, you know, you actually tell them this. Sure. Friendly innovations give build cost minus 20% is awesome, and build time minus 20% as well. How long for? That's for four years. And we gain one stewardship. Oh, man, that's actually huge. We might be able to build a city then. Um, local build cost modifier, though? Build cost minus 20%. Uh, does that not affect holdings? Wait, you know, but build time is definitely, it definitely affects holdings. Oh, shit, maybe it should be build, local build cost minus 20%. Oh, that could be a problem. <laughs> Maybe it's just the both cost of the buildings in the capital? Uh, I hope that's working as intended. He has he's growing older, I can see that court, court, chort, could use my guidance in one of my experience of areas intrigue. This chance is to make, sorry? This is my chance to make an effort for the sake of his education, but what can I offer? Um, knowledge is a power others don't need. Give him deceitful and we gain paranoid. Oh, wow. Okay, that could be cool. Um, others may trick you. I'm going to go for that one. That seems good. Yeah. Deceitful also works well with the mirror as well. This kid's getting a lot of intrigue and nothing else. And that seems like it could be something very, very valuable to us. As a very hated, just disgusting, filthy slug creature. I think having as much defense against people trying to kill us at all, oh, nice, at all times as possible is fantastic. This is big. This is a big moment for the campaign right now. Get out of here, four boats. You disappoint me constantly. Right, let's move our boy over here to Oversea Tech. We are at 50, uh, 35, 48. Let's see if that updates at all. How long is it going to take? 40, 48. That's still two years, for the love of God. Jabba, shape up. God damn it, Jabba. 
You know what, that could have been a lot worse, especially as I had our character take over the education of Chort there towards the end, because he wasn't coming out particularly great, I'll be honest with you, but there we go, he got an experienced mage, which is the same as what we've got, that's basically all we could hope for, really, at least he didn't come out worse. He is uncouth, that I think is unfair, although he is following his, just dis- What? Uh, excuse me, Todd Howard, I'd like a refund, please. See that son there? You can kill it. Uh, what do you mean he died in an accident, like, the second he turned 16? Are you fucking kidding me? It was day after. I hope there's not some automatic slowed killing mechanic in the game. That would suck. Um, died in an accident. What do you mean? I, b I believe that, because I think it would have just said died in natural health if it was, like, the game killing him off. Oh, come on. I hope someone didn't assassinate him either. You big fucking shit idiot, dirty, filthy, disgusting slug creature. God damn it. Now we have to go and check on the brood again. We don't have enough money to do that. 200 gold wasted. I can't even turn him into soap yet. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. So that's answered my question. Raku, your steward, has discovered moonstone deposits during his survey mission. I can't imagine they added moonstone manually to this one. So that gives us tax income 0 0.35. Not fantastic, but it's still obviously fairly... Well, it's fairly significant, actually, when we're a account level character. Uh, light of a tree. What is this one? Wait, what? Inspired criminal syndicates? Oh, independent criminal syndicates? What are they... <laughs> okay, well, it's only taxes. We don't really care about taxes too much because we're not making any goddamn money anyway. So the city is almost built. We're blitzing through here up until the 4th of March, was it? Or April the 4th? I'm not sure which way around that's supposed to be. The navigator of Akavir is in need of someone who can purchase some independent sellers. Thank you. Purchase from independent sellers, I assume, unless we, that, you know, slavery law is already kicking off elsewhere. I carefully negotiate the purchase and arrangement to realize I've netted the navigators of Akavir a nice little profit. How much did we make there? Probably not a lot. But between all these, like, sort of minor sales, random events like Moonstone and whatnot, that kind of looks very... I, I love the graphics in this. I really do. Right, so can we now build fishing docks? Galleys plus six. You underestimated me, but my God, we've actually got some more boats. Holy shit. And how long are those going to take to build? Not too long at all. Oh, my God. Ne it's, it's all kicking off. Next episode, it is seriously going to be kicking off. Look at this shit. Okay. And um, we can just straight up upgrade it as well. Military docks. We just need 148 gold. Can we also build anything else? We've got milling stones, uh, healer temple, blah, 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 blah. Um, wow, there's so much to build. Look at this. I need to find, like, a bigger interface mod so we can actually not be in such a tiny little window here. But, yeah, no, that worked out incredibly well. Excuse me. Can you... Can you not? They heard that we got boats, and they were thinking, oh, shit, we need to actually get this in then. Um, no. Can you get out of here? We've got that super powerful slow guy leading our armies. It's me. It's, it's me. It's actually just me. Uh, no. Never ever lead armies. I mean, he's got nine marshal, which for a slow isn't bad, but also never ever do that. Wait. Oh, I, I was going to say, how the hell can we just l stop leading troops in the middle of battle there? What happened to our really good commander? Oh, he's a marshal. We've got him training. Oh, you idiot. Um, to be fair, though, we've got a lot of other good marshals too. Okay, I think we just need to sack Raquel. You're gone. Direct and welcome aboard. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now things really open up to us. We can go slave raiding. We can go artifact raiding and send stuff to Namira. We can build up our own capital. We can play tall for quite a while. We can actually grab another province, so this province next door. Start executing the monkeys en masse and converting it over to the glorious people of Slowed. This is the this is where it all begins. This is it. We've actually started kicking things off. Um, oh, Vermib has been w maimed. I'm sorry to hear that, Vermib. And that is that. <laughs> I we could not give a less of a shit about you, my friend. A small kitty is demanding your attention. Kick the kitty. 25% chance of getting one eye that's going to scratch our eyes out. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Just cruel mints. Thank you. Tasty, tasty mints. Now, this is what I wanted to leave off on, was having the fully completed level 2 fishing dock, so that when we actually load in next episode, we are just basically straight up ready to start slave raiding instantly, right? The navigators of Akavir is needed someone who can negotiate a purchase with some independent sellers once again, talk them into a deal, and then give me some gold right now. Thank you very much. You know what? You've got to admit, this is kind of adding up. It's probably like an additional 100 or so gold per year just being part of the society. But it's not that good if you were leading like a kingdom or even certain like dukes. Obviously, a merchant probably would be absolute garbage. But for us, it's fairly significant when you're making two gold per month. We made another friend with the tiger man. Those tiger people really like us, huh? So, we're good. We actually have 18 galleys. That was plus 18 galleys. So, uh, everything. Let's take a look here. With everything taken into account, 23 boats. We can summon some undead and we can go absolutely balls to the wall ballistic now. This is fantastic. Let's summon the skeletons already because that way it'll also stop people raiding us. Just while we wait for the boats to reinforce. Open cloth. No, open spell book. And then summon undead. Here we go. Great aversion of the spell. 2400. Very angry. Really mad. Just zombie fellas. We've... Oh, shit. Don't do... No. We need one more boat. You 
big bitch. Okay, um... I can't believe you've done this. I just can't believe you've done this. Okay, uh... Excuse me, sir, I need... <laughs> I need one more fucking vote. I can't, absolutely am... <sighs> okay, so wooden pier, market square, don't give anything. Oh my god, are you serious? No, come on. There's gotta be one that just get... That's it. That's all the buildings we can... B Thank you for watching. I... You fucking... You're just absolutely filthy, disgusting slug creature. You know who's the filthiest and the most disgusting slug creatures? That's a compliment this time around. It's the insane top tier level patron. Thank you for making this series possible. By the way, a big shout out to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmos, this Average Gamer 419, Banyal, Blurry Bunny, Sidini, Conspiracy, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Facundo Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Jocelyn Dean, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Palvis Presley, Surthal the Swede, Sorogon, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Packers, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. I hope you guys are enjoying this very strange, very isolated, very middle of nowhere, and very weird, and you know what? Unique campaign. Let's be honest, it's unique. I don't think anyone else has done this shit. And a shout out as well, of course, to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson. All of this was UK. Arachnid44, Betamus Max, Ben Troke, Sidini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Cody217, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerka, Grey, Haji Demar, Hancock, Aaron McGowan, Ice of the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Lemon Stark, Luan and Thomas, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Nixie, Pan Tamu, Panther Pearl, Smokeworm, The Insane Pickle, Benemiao, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico 2. Thank you all for your support.